adding a contact. The app is going to ask you how you would like to import your first emergency contact. Option 1 is to import a contact from your phone's contacts. Option 2 is to manually enter the phone number and information yourself. Once you have added their information, be sure to send them an invite so they can understand and learn more about getting alerts from you through the silent beacon. Once you have added a contact, you will see a screen with numerous toggle options. These are the individual settings for each contact. The text message toggle enables you to send a customized text message accompanied with your GPS location to that contact. Push notifications can be turned on, but only work if your contact has also turned on the push notifications for the Silent Beacon application. Low Battery Alert is a great new feature that when this toggle is enabled, it will send out a text message to that contact letting them know your Silent Beacon battery is getting low. The Email Notification toggle works similarly to the text message alerts. When pressed, the Silent Beacon will send an email to that contact with a customized message and a link to your GPS location on a map in real time to allow them the ability to find you quickly. Nudge is our non-emergency feature that allows you to check in with your loved ones without having to call or text them directly. It will just send your contact a link to your current location and lets them know everything is okay. The Footstep feature allows your contact to track your location when you are not in an emergency. Alert Your Beacon is our patented technology that allows you to ring other silent beacon devices if you are in an emergency. If the contact you have added in your phone also has a silent beacon, it will alert their beacon even if the volume on their phone is off when you've pressed the alert buttons. Now let's save your current settings and head over to the main menu. Here we are now in the main menu of the silent beacon application. Now let's place an emergency alert to show you how this process works. To start in alert mode, press both buttons on the silent beacon at the same time for about two seconds. The device will vibrate and start glowing red, letting you know it has been activated. It will then call the phone number you have stored as your primary emergency contact. 911, what's the nature of your emergency? Remember, you set the silent beacon to call who you wish, whether that's 911, a neighbor, a coworker, silent beacon's 24-hour monitoring center, which is an optional add-on, or anyone you wish to alert. Our emergency contact, who also has the silent beacon, will be alerted not only through their phone, but through their device as well. 